Hi, this is Rachel, and let's talk about how you assign something in Google Classroom. So you'll have your classes here. I just have the one class, but you would click on the class that you want or one of your classes. And then over here, you have your stream, the different things that have been assigned. Where you're going to want to assign from is in this tab that says Classwork. Then you would say Create. And in this case, we want to create an assignment. So we click on that. We would put in our title, which is Distributive Property Day 1. And our instructions are Watch Video and Complete Assignment. Then we're going to Add. From Click on the Add. It gives you all these choices and you're going to click Google Drive. It will show you your recent things. So this is the one that I wanted to do. Double click there. And then a really important part is you don't want them to just be able to view the file. You want them to be able to, you want it to make a copy for each student. You need to do that at this stage of the assignment. It will not let you change that later. If you forget to do it, you're going to have to go back and do the assignment again. And just a little side note over here, we've got, you can change the points. You can make it ungraded. You can do whatever you want there. You can give it a due date. So the due date's tomorrow. And if you want, you can add topics and rubrics. That's a little bit more advanced. And then up here, you'd be able to choose which classes you're assigning it to and or which students you're assigning it to. If you're just giving it to individuals or you were differentiating in some way, then you could just give it to um, certain students or groups of students. So once you have everything set up, then you'll hit assign. And it's gonna, remember, it's gonna make a copy for each student. So that's pretty awesome. And then when you're done, you will see it up here in your classwork. And when you click on it, it will show you how many, I only have one student, but it'll show you how many students it was assigned to and then how many students have turned it in. So yeah, that's it. That's for um, just a little quick tutorial on how to assign this kind of assignment in Google Classroom. And I hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you next time.